come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the number one podcast on the podcast. That actually made no sense. <laughs> Colin's trying out new right. things. Yeah. I see. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna say you should. And, and, okay. and, and ladies and gentlemen, he does not practice these before. <laughs> no, it's always a surprise to us. It's a surprise to him. Yeah. I think most yeah. of the time. I mean, but we are the number one podcast somewhere. In someone's you slice it and dice it some way, we will find out. In someone's, in someone's heart, we are. Sure, sure. Yeah. Whoever you are, thank you. Yes. I'm sure we could find some very specific stats that we yeah. intersect right in between. Yeah. yeah. There were number one in, in, yes. in Bangladesh or something like that. Mm-hmm. So uh, these are the internet radio superstars. Holly. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. And tonight we watched a movie that was chosen by Michaela. Where did we go tonight? We took a trip to Fantasy Island. Aww. Not the TV show. And not the new TV show. Not the show. TV show and not the not, TV, not show, the TV and show and probably not another TV show we yep. forgot about mm-hmm. in there somewhere. Yep. But the 2020, oh, from the year. 2020. From the 2020 I'm sorry, this thriller. Is Blumhouse's Fantasy Island. Blumhouse's yeah, Fantasy Island. Blumhouse's Fantasy Island. All right. How many good. movies were there? Blumhouse, Blumhouse's whatever, I don't Truth know. or Dare, and Fantasy Island? Probably when they have these quote unquote. Well, I was gonna say original ideas with mm-hmm. okay. yeah. Like you can't do like a franchise thing, like uh, Blumhouse's Halloween. Halloween right. yeah. Blumhouse's Halloween ends. Okay. Oh, they wanted to. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure they. Did. <laughs> I'm sure they tried. They incorporated Michael Myers into their new logo. But, yes. Uh, sorry. Yeah. The but uh, who who directed uh, Jeff Wadlow? And who do we know? How do we know Jeff Wadlow? Um, the other Blumhouse movie with Lucy Hale in it, Truth or Dare. Okay. You wrote and directed yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. Um, Kick Ass Two, he directed. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, Never Back Down, he directed. Okay. And Cry Wolf, he Cry also directed. Wolf. So, do we all remember Cry yeah. Wolf? Yeah, yeah. That yes. was kind of a big thing Jared when it Padalecki came out. Jared yeah. Padalecki was in that. And yeah. I, told, yeah. I, haven't, I haven't seen it in oh so long. Oh my God, you guys, okay. we could do like a whole sideshow on just horror movies Jared Padalecki has Probably. been in. Probably. We've covered most of them already, but okay. like, yeah, I would wow, that, that guy would, could not keep away from horror movies in the 2000s. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Played I would do Friday that Friday the 13th yet, right? He was in that? Yeah, he was in that. Which I was just thinking about today. I need to watch that again. I bet... It's not as bad as we remember. I don't. I I'm gonna say I mean, it's not as bad as we remember. Maybe you forgive movies as time goes on. Well, definitely. Yeah. It's been three years since Fantasy Island came out. Yeah. So, so do we forgive it? You'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I do. I am old enough to remember that there was a show called Fantasy Island on TV. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. And it. Had, I don't know that I remember it, but I'm aware of its presence. Yeah. But do you remember the opening scene where Hervé Villachez mm-hmm. says? The plane, boss, boss, the plane, the plane. plane. And then Ricardo Montalban, all dressed in white, steps out of uh, a house. I've seen that, yes. Okay. I'm aware of the imagery. I was actually, I was like, because when this movie came out, I'm like, I mean, I remember watching Fantasy Island when I was a kid, but like, I remember nothing about Fantasy Island. Was there a supernatural element to Fantasy Island? This is what I was wondering. Is the show kind of the same thing, but a a good way? I was like... I never knew what the show was about. Sure. Yeah, I knew like the general pop I'm culture consensus. The research. Yeah. I looked it up. Yes, there was a supernatural bend to it. it okay. And the bend to it was like everything comes at a price. So it's kind of like a monkey's paw story, gotcha. basically. Yeah, but, so I did not but know. Not murder? I don't think it ever death? got that dark. But they okay. did say there was supernatural like consequences. Now, I have a follow-up so. question because I don't know much about it. Was mm-hmm. it like the same cast like a Gilligan's Island situation no. or was it like it was different people coming different to people the island every week and they would have celebrity guest it. stars yeah. like, it was right. like a love boat that's what I right. figured yeah. this figured. Is, figure mystery jungle love boat yes yeah. okay but that <laughs> was know? the because I think like Ricardo Copyright. Montalban I think now everybody remembers Ricardo Montalban as Khan from yes. Star Trek yes. 2 yes. but back then it was you know Fantasy Island I mean he, sure, that was yeah. pop culture all over the place oh, yes. and uh, his Mr. Rourke I mean I guess it's like there was a kind of a sinister quality to the whole thing but it didn't feel like that when i was watching the you know it wasn't marketed that way no no yeah. i never yeah. got that i mean I, again i didn't watch a lot of it but i right. never yeah i got that essence from it yeah. that there was i also anything feel like back then it. programming wasn't generally like that right. Yeah, yeah yeah right <laughs> that's a great point they're, they're like what are you talking about people come here and get their fantasies fulfilled yeah, is, yeah. they're like this is straight as it gets <laughs> yeah programming was everything was pretty high concept pretty, yeah, yeah, yeah pretty, this is all above board folks yeah. yes but somewhere in the 2000s or the 2020s uh there were dark Blum, times Blum, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know this we, came out right? right before the pain this came out february yeah. 2020 this did this movie start yes yeah say, this movie this movie and actually they pushed this movie's release date so that um invisible 
man could come out a week earlier. Okay. So it's like, uh, so it's no co- coincidence that this movie came out and two weeks later the world shut down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, pretty much. What is your fantasy? Worldwide yeah. <laughs> disease. Yes. Oh, this is. Are um, we in someone's revenge fantasy? Is this COVID someone's revenge you know fantasy? Right, we just all, all lived through it. Wow. You know what? Fuck you. We're all <laughs> suffering enough. Yes. Okay. We get it. We get it. Your fantasy's been fulfilled. Like, Do we break the now. curse now that we've watched this movie? Like, is this it what does it? This, is this what undoes everything? Life man. is smooth sailing from here? God, I hope God so. Will. Mm-hmm. Well, what is the general... For those of you who haven't seen the original TV show, Fantasy Island, which has now been reimagined as a horror movie. Is it a horror movie? Uh, what? It wants it, to be. It toes the line as okay. horror elements. It doesn't deserve to be called a horror it movie. It could be a... This is it what frustrates me about this movie is there is potential for this a really good a, horror movie in here. There this is. is a CBS show. Yeah. yeah. Yes, but, uh, especially with that uh, the ending. Yeah. <laughs> Flash to credits. <laughs> Sean, I'm curious of why you're knocking CBS shows right now. Don't you? You know, CBS? <laughs> I love <laughs> Paramount. <laughs> CBS programming on the hand, I'll, and I'll tell this to my boss when we watch the movie down here right now. I'm like, our programming is not the best, and you know what? They all know it too. <laughs> okay. I'm just gonna okay. let you know. Okay. They okay. all know. Like, they gonna... all know CBS programming love, is not the best. I okay. love that you've like. I'm gonna hold a mirror up to CBS <laughs> and show them what they right? look like. I will like. expose them from the inside. <laughs> You're gonna, gonna take them down. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say Fantasy Island was an ABC TV show. Oh, well, let's look it up. We I know. Now we gotta find out. Pro- you, 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 Which you, you, is mm-hmm. the the same. But te- I think what Sean's saying is that this feels like a show that would come yeah. on after NCIS that my parents would. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But I was going with like ABC is also the network of uh, Lost. And they right, may yes. they may factor in. And, <laughs> and I mean and the, uh, just the name Fantasy Island has a Disney-ish kind yeah, of quality right? yeah, name yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah. Fantasy so. Island was an ABC show. There you go. Okay, all right. <laughs> um so what okay, so for the uninitiated, what is the gist of uh the movie Fantasy Island? This movie. Uh you come to this island and this and as I say, what did they say? Enigmatic Mr. Rourke? Is that what they yeah, said, Sean? Yeah, they We're like, that's enigmatic not the right Mr. Rourke. Yeah, no. yeah. um, <laughs> um, allows you to have like one fantasy, but you have to let it come to its natural conclusion. You can't interfere with the consequences of your actions, basically. And this is a known thing mm-hmm. in the world mm-hmm. because people have heard of this and they it's are like a vacation to the destination. Island. I know that's yeah. what right. I thought was kind of weird because you go like, okay, it's going to, you go here because the people who arrive know about. Fantasy Island. Right. right. They've read stuff online about mm-hmm. Fantasy Island. There's rumors about it because nobody, I don't, what, if other people come, do they have to sign an NDA? Do other people leave? Yeah. Is right. it like a Are lottery the first system? People? Do they have to like yeah. win tickets right. to go to Fantasy yeah. Island like, or something? You know? But I that doesn't no- make sense considering it's all rigged for one. It, I, yeah, right. Considering the end it of makes, the movie. Yeah. yeah, It makes no sense that people... Stop have, right there. It makes no sense that people... <laughs> yeah, no, that that's is this it. movie. That's the, it. The plane is landing and already it doesn't make sense. Yes. That's this movie. Like... Hundred percent. This movie does uh, so. I mean, like obviously the, the the so actually, I guess it did start out kind of differently than I, you expect a movie called Fantasy Island to start out, uh, because we see a woman who we don't know being chased through uh, the jungle, mm. and then um, we hear the enigmatic Mister Rourke say, "You're my guest," and then cut to credits, and then the plane, the plane, but the plane line isn't spoken by Tattoo. No, it's spoken by Julia. Julia, and we don't know who she is, but we're like, okay, something, something. They're playing with the. Uh, she with smiles the threateningly here. a lot. Yeah, she does. She welcomes the guests to. Well, she goes in and tells Mr. Rourke, who's Mr. Rourke, played by Michael Pena. Yeah, in a mm-hmm. in a in a bit of miscasting. I yeah, yeah, yeah. He yep. needs, and no offense yeah. to Michael Pena, because I I like him a lot. He's always fun. Or yeah. he's always always fun, and he's also usually a very good actor. I think he's done some dramatic stuff in the past. That's been very he's not good. a but stoic actor. No, he doesn't have the gravitas. No, he no. doesn't. That First of all, requires. the character needs to be taller, and I'm sorry that that is a thing, but it felt like this person need to have more stature, <laughs> both is- in. In physicality and in his personality. Because I think it's a, a tall, uh, you know, it's like you're going to, there is, I, I suppose, a menace or something. It's like, there, there should you're be, you're supposed yes. to wonder, I mean, I guess we've It should be said, Pedro Pascal. Should, it's it's the enigmatic. It 100%. Ooh, that's, yeah. that's a good one. 100%. If this movie had more money, it would have been Pedro Pascal. Well, he wasn't, we like, need charming. he wasn't big enough. No, it was like in 2023, yeah. they could have pulled it off. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 He needs to be charming, but also the the just the wisp of sinister as he's leaving the scene. Yeah. Uh, for, to pull this version of him yeah. off. So it's Michael Pena. Um, I mean, I don't know. I didn't really have a 
problem with I've seen him you in just, other stuff and so I guess yeah. you bring that baggage with But you go to see him be funny and charming. He's a charming yeah. guy and in this movie he's just nothing. He's just very bland yeah. and very stoic. That's the and, problem because yeah. Yeah. he has to like stifle what we've right. seen as his personality in yes. order to play this kind Which of is a like straight man. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. It's him stretching his uh, acting. Uh, he's not yeah, though. He's not I've not seen him do more emotional work like yeah. even there was a scene with his uh, with Julia later on, I'm just like, eh, there should be a little, uh, there should be a, there should be a there. lip quiver like, or yeah. something, <laughs> yeah. considering what you're about to give up. Michael yeah. Pena said, I get to spend how many weeks in Fiji? Sign me up. Right. Like, I, yeah. you know, yeah. I don't blame him. Yes. I, I don't blame yeah. anyone no. in this no. movie because they got a sweet vacation out of it. Sure. Shot yeah. on location in Fiji. For Good sure. for them. Oh, okay. no. It looks no, very nice. I blame yeah. you. That's who I blame. And the director. The character should have like more of a charm, more of a swagger. Yes. Like there should be a like a mystery that you're like I like this guy, but He's I'm kind of scared of him. Like Bradley yeah, like- Cooper? No. No. <laughs> no, no, no. Just in that, like, because he's got, he does have a charm, but it's also just. He's like, not Ugh. threatening. He doesn't have a no. threatening energy about him at all. No, no. He's threatening? very golden retriever. Yeah. Oh, I find Bradley Cooper. T- I find that you can easily yeah, just like him. Did, now, like, do you want my little eyes? Do you want this character to be threatening. like an older actor or a younger actor? Uh, I, if someone I think, older. Yeah, you yeah, want to yeah. have yeah. like But even you're describing Ricardo Montalban. I mean, I guess so. We what? We shouldn't get close to that with a newer version of that. Pedro Pascal or even Oscar Isaac. I think would either. Yeah, either Ooh, one. Oscar Isaac. Yeah, Oscar yeah Isaac. I was thinking yeah, Oscar yeah. Isaac. Imagine Ooh. the mustache yeah. he would have. I was just saying, but this would have been fucking cheap, so they would have <laughs> never, never been able to Oscar Isaac. Yeah. That's true. But that would have been good. That would have been great. So we're introduced to, of course, uh, I mean, the movie's going to have to have like the the guest stars of the uh, this episode <laughs> stars. of Fantasy <laughs> Island. You calm down. There's two recognizable <laughs> people in this movie. Who is in this movie? <laughs> L- Lucy Hale. Yes. Who we would know from Pretty Little Liars. <sighs> Tr- uh, Scream Four. Oh yeah, she's yeah. The, the beginning of screen yep. four. And yeah. she, guys, okay, Lucy Hale wants to be Jenna Ortega. She wants Jenna Ortega's career. She's been coming for that girl. Ooh, that's since, probably right. Like, because she was on Pretty Little Liars, which was like a horror show. I watched all of it. It was delicious trash. I definitely. <laughs> I've heard it that is show. delicious trash. Delicious trash. Yeah. Um, just for a taste of this trash, she plays a high school student that is dating her English teacher. Uh huh. Sure. And okay. then they yeah. end up like. That becomes an acceptable thing in the world of this TV show. Oh, They're like okay. a, a minor dating their high school teacher. Yeah. She goes on for seasons, like, and that show's not that old. <laughs> yep. so. Yeah, right. and uh, and then she was yeah she was in Truth or Dare, and her face was like on the poster for yeah. that movie. Yeah, doing and, that smile. Yep, and Which that didn't take off. But and then she pivoted to being like a country music singer for a little what? bit, and that didn't I'm sorry? take off. <laughs> this girl is in a tailspin of life, and she needs a life coach hard. But like, I, I do see a parallel universe where she is like a Jenna Ortega type. Mm-hmm. I don't think she's bad. I just think she's in shit movies a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. Like Truth or Dare in this back to back is mm. not going to help. And they were sorry. Did the director of this also do? You said did Truth, Truth, or, Dare, Truth yes. or Dare? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, He's are, not getting the best out of her. No, no. Okay, so she's a recognizable face mm-hmm. from TV. We've yep. also got Maggie Q. Mm-hmm. When's the last thing you saw Maggie Q in? I'm well, gonna, actually, I, mean, I the, haven't looked it up. I'm going to look it up. It's, it's the last thing, I don't know, but I mean, I know she was in, was it Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, yes. which was mm-hmm. a pretty good one. She that is a good one. She was like um, uh, Live Free or Die Hard, mm-hmm. you said it, and also the La Femme Nikita TV series. Yeah. Uh, I remember, okay, she did The Protégé. Did that have Michael Keaton in it? Or they're, yeah. they're fighting? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that and, was the latest yeah. one. Uh, okay. She was in Divergent, so maybe she was oh. in that whole series. Oh, okay. That could be a thing. I never watched that. The Protégé. I think Death I fell asleep to them a few the times. <laughs> Fantasy Island. Yeah. yeah, she was in Designated Survivor. She had 50 episodes, no. so she was doing TV. Yeah. Oh, Designated yeah. Survivor. She's doing those shows, yeah. is what I've seen her on. I'm sure you'll find her in a uh, a TV show with Dylan McDermott at some so, point. Yeah. Well, I guarantee. Of the cast, I guess she came off to me as like she was the, you know, like the respectable yes. person that they got the right. actor. Yeah. yeah. The one with the most uh, gravitas or whatever yes. career that yeah. they had brought in, aside from Michael Pena. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They were and everyone against, will look at her and be like, oh, we like her. Yeah. yeah. All right. She, she I, that's how I felt when I saw her. I was like, oh, good to see you. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Right? Yeah. No, and, I want her to be in good things. And, and yeah, and in yeah. this, but in this movie, I just kept thinking, she looks great in Fiji. Like every she, Time does, she was on the she? beach or the sun was like golden shining on her face. I'm like, she's she meant to be great. here. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. And then we have uh, a couple other people. Jimmy oh. O. Yang. He's a comedian. You've seen him in everything. He's yeah, a he's been in everything. He's, he's, he's usually pops funny. Up for a cameo. He's and usually funny. He had a few good. He, there are again. There are a few good lines in this. What was uh, something that we would have seen him in? Uh, uh, 
Uh, Silicon Valley. Yes. He was in Silicon mm-hmm. Valley for okay. a while. He was the for roommate who didn't, yep. who I think murdered someone. Yes. Uh, and he didn't speak English or they think he didn't speak <laughs> yeah. English. Was, he had a pretty funny role. Okay. Yeah, he had a great role. Yeah. He's, he's good. Crazy Rich Asians. He was okay. in that. Oh, yeah. Yep. He was okay. in that. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. a good movie. And his brother. He's an 80 for Brady. If you guys haven't oh, seen that, oh, yeah, okay, go check okay, it. Okay. <laughs> people, mom, said, people said that was charming. My yeah. mom saw it. <laughs> Did she love it? No. Oh, okay. All right, all right. She, was she not made my it. She drug my dad to it. Oh, what did he think? He did not like it. Oh, damn. And who's in in the movie? He has a brother uh, from another Name mother, JD. and then no, it's from the same mother, right? Yeah. But uh, different dads. And this is JD played by who knows? I don't know who this guy who is. Okay. I gotta look it up. He's like a poor know. man's Bradley Cooper. Okay, yeah. okay. If he's lucky. Mm-hmm. And then we also have the guy who plays. Uh, sorry, the, the uh, soldier, the soldier guy, Patrick. 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 Actually, I did recognize him because yeah. I saw a movie Austin called Stoll? Austin Stoll. He, he was in a movie called Swallow. Okay. Uh, which was this pretty is the good. The second if I time we've talked about this. Movie. He's in Whiplash too, apparently. And British uh, Spies. House. This guy's been in legit okay. movies, right? But he what? Because yeah. he's playing the background in yeah, these movies I, or something? He blends is, in. Does he play? Blandly. Does he play a soldier in every movie? No. no. Feels like he would, doesn't it? <laughs> Does feel like he would. Yeah. Colin. He's the Matthew Fox Ryan of this Hansen, movie. The guy that was JD was in the Friday the Thirteenth two thousand nine remake. Holy fuck! Yeah, Who it all ties together. Was he in this? I no, not, Nolan. Nope. Some guy named Nolan. He, but that's his second build credit on IMDb above this movie. I am so. like totally drawing a blank of his face in that movie and what character he would have played. But uh, <laughs> He didn't play like the blonde no, guy. It was like, no. yeah, perfectly placed no. nipples. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> your tits are so juicy, dude. <laughs> Um, your tits are spectacular. Spectacular. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, calls yeah. them spectacular. Yeah. The nipple yeah. placement is great. Yeah. I think it's a lie. Was it stupendous? Stupendous. stupendous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That movie's uh, fucking weird. I was like, I do not remember. That. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's a, like, do you remember you broke my grandpa's chair, dude? That line always gets. I gotta me too. watch this one again. They have a fight over a broken chair. It's right. Yeah. <laughs> he must die early. Um, yeah. So I think that's our. Guest Maybe we need to watch list, this right? movie on the freak show. Sounds like it. We haven't done a Friday the Thirteenth movie in a while. So I think that's our guests, and they are welcome to the island by uh, Julia, mm-hmm. who um, basically, Julia is very she's kind of sinister because she's she like is. warning, mm-hmm. kind of, but not that there's something amiss on this island, and so I guess going into it, I was kind of like, okay it's Fantasy Island, uh. You know, it's like, so people are going to come here and their fantasies are going to be fulfilled. And so then you go, well, by what method? Is it going to be technology or is it going to be supernatural? Right. Right? Mm -hmm. These are the questions. And so we get into the movie and not very long into it. No, it's quick. We're seeing um, there's a lot of snake symbol imagery all Uh over the place, which I'm sure that's okay. Sean. Why? Why, Colin? Sea Why? snakes. Answer me something. No, I will not. I will not accept that answer. <laughs> Why? Answer everything else. You, in this you movie mean the hand snakes? They use a snake in the logo of the it's the, the fantasy. It's yeah. all over the place. Okay, and we have just watched this movie, and we're going to tell and you. None of us could tell you. No. Why? I just did. That's not it. Sea snakes. <laughs> I can't imagine for that one reference in this movie that they would make that. The no, iconography. Rourke has a snake uh, <laughs> ring. There's snake icons on the mm-hmm. elevator. There's snakes everywhere. everywhere. Mm-hmm. It's the same, you know, image. And we're like, this has. If I the know, island was powered what, by snake blood, what I we, would understand. Is that, <laughs> like, what are we? It's like to? the end of Anaconda when he's. <laughs> But, when he's pouring those buckets of monkey blood yeah, on them to attract yes. the big snakes, like I that. mean, I get a snake eating its own tail would at least but be something, but this is just a snake, and I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, so you have like there's a path through life, or I don't know. They, you, they, you're I, reaching I'm reaching. Too much there's talent, nothing yeah. there. I'm sure that the writers and the production designers all believe that there is. So we're uh-huh. going to tell you that whatever you right they now. were trying to <laughs> get I'm across right. didn't come. <laughs> so there's, but there is, we notice very early on, uh, dripping. Black goo. drippings with glue, <laughs> drippings of goo, drippings of yeah. goo. So this is we're like, hey, oh, 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 there's some kind the of supernatural island. shit happening here because there's black goo dripping from just yeah. random places. Every it, it, scene, it, random is places that everybody's by, eyes, but yes, 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 black goo dripping from the ceiling. Okay, yeah. so what are the fantasies? Each, uh, each per- oh, So Mr. Rourke gives a warning, kind yes. of. That is basically like every fantasy, you've, the fantasy that you wanted, you came to the island to have fulfilled, will be fulfilled, but you have to see it through to its natural conclusion, mm-hmm. which sounds sinister. Mm-hmm. Right. And then, which, off so, no, you can't change your fantasy. No, yeah. and like anyone, who, like, 
if you were involved in like contract law, you'd be like, this is a little vague. Yep. We need to specify this yeah. in order before yeah. I sign off what on this. What is defined as a natural conclusion. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Okay, let me ask the group a question. Mm. What, what happens if you violate this rule? Nothing. I'll give you a minute. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> <laughs> nothing, because you can go in and change your fantasy if you yeah, want. Yeah, well, at least ultimately, <laughs> although ultimately it doesn't matter. It doesn't we'll matter get to that. Uh, yeah, I guess ultimately it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, just so we make sure I wasn't missing. Something. No, no. <laughs> This movie's missing so technically, a lot. So technically, we don't know the rules at all. No. no. We know no. nothing no. about no. how this actually works. The rules works. are. There ain't no rules, I guess, yeah, right? I guess. Yeah. yeah. We know nothing. Well, it's setting up rules like there are some, but like you're sitting there going like, well, how does this? And it's like, yeah. I don't know. This movie is a lot of exposition there's a lot, dump. Yeah, there's a lot of threat of consequences, but we're never explicitly told what right. those are. Yeah. No, right. or if something bad does happen to our characters, we're, we're never. it's never shown that it's because they did something right. to bring that upon themselves. Like right. they violated the game or right. something right. like that. That. Yeah, because there is no technology in this, right? I right. Think is, uh, that's the weird thing, and the supernatural doesn't right, which, hold up in that. Which is, it is weird that there is no technology to this because yeah. the way they pitched this movie was saying Cabin in the Woods meets uh, Westworld. And that's a lot it, of technology. Just, in that's a lot of technology. Like, like, I disagree. Westworld is literally all technology. There's yeah. no supernatural shit to that. Like that's yeah. all it is is advanced AI. So like. Maybe that would have been a more interesting that, way to go. Uh, that probably, but then it would just been... be Westworld. So right, but because <laughs> I mean, Westworld was like a fantasy island. Yeah, type yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. It, basically it would just is, be Westworld. Yeah. So Westworld is the better maybe that's version. Why yeah. they, maybe they made the decision because Westworld was doing mm-hmm. stuff like that. They're yeah, like, well, we, we will that. not do technology. Right. Yeah, all be supernatural. Yeah, because we have to go the other way. That was one smart choice they made, I guess. Then because the comparison <laughs> would be there. Oh, oh definitely. Yeah. Sure, but, sure. But but then it kind of take then it does take it. It's an island, and then it kind of takes it into lost territory. And the obvious totally. comparison, it's like we're sitting there going, like, well, lost, lost did this, lost, <laughs> lost, yes. lost did just this. pointing them out, lost yeah. to this because lost to this. it becomes. One well, of the guys has a Matthew Fox haircut. Yeah. And this, I'm sure if he grew it out, he'd have a fucking beautiful mullet <laughs> slash whatever Matthew Fox had in the 90s and 2000s. But then it yeah. is the island itself is actually the culpable for <sighs> creating fantasies, uh-huh. right? We're trying yes. to understand the mechanism by which this happens. It, there, We're just it, like, isn't. it's There's a magic nothing. island. It, it is, but it's... it's uh, um, Powered by a crystal. Yes. Powered by a, a crystal heart of the <laughs> island, <laughs> basically. So, But we have no idea, the, like, how... Um, uh, Michael Pena would control any of this. Yeah. None of that right. is made clear nope. to us about how None. he is the steward, yeah. as he says, mm-hmm. of these fantasies. Like, what are you, like, does it go through, like, your mind or something? Like, what is, technology right. would have helped at this mm-hmm. point. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to jump ahead here just to try and get a grip on this before we can double back and explain what's happening. But you mentioned the black heart of the island. There mm-hmm. is a cave, yep. and in the cave there's an obsidian rock yeah. that reflects back to you your deepest, darkest desire. It's like the right. Harry Potter mirror. It's the, the Harry Potter mirror. Yeah. Okay. And so, uh, as I understand it, this obsidian rock turns the water of the island black. This is then what we're seeing drip all over the place. But I'm sitting there going like, okay, there's dripping water. Because even in the title, I think once the title ends, there's like, plunk. So we're like, okay, water is going to be like a key thing throughout. So then you're like, okay, the black water has something to do with it. And, uh, and all of these fantasies are preceded by somebody walking down a hallway and there's like drip, <laughs> drip and a black, you know, right. stain yeah. on the floor. Yeah. yeah. What, How what, does what is the mechanism? The actual, yeah, right. Yeah, like like well, I would <laughs> understand if <clears throat> um, because later on a person drinks some of that water and they're like, now I can have have my fantasy. Like if it had been some like if we had seen one of I mean, they're served drinks earlier on in this yeah. movie. Like if we'd seen like. Uh, one of the uh, um, of regular clear water we want to point out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, yeah. if we had seen like somebody drip something into their drinks yep. at the beginning of this before they gave it to them, like that might that would make more sense. Yeah. Or right, they gather might... the water from there's like a fa- mm-hmm. you know some kind of mechanism that yeah. delivers like the the sparkling water of the mm-hmm. island yes. or whatever. But there isn't any of that, and so I, there. <laughs> see, I want an even more low budget than that. I want him to just go to the kitchen and take the pitcher that's just marked with a piece of like scotch tape that says. Like island water, yeah. yeah. Okay, right. The Puerto yes. filter pitcher, yes. It's from one of those like eighties, like cool yes. pitchers. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, it's gone through the Breta. Yeah, it needs to have gone through the Breta. Yeah. Yeah, because you're right. There is a scene later on where it becomes a big like key point of that yeah. scene mm-hmm. is well, so and so has to drink the water and then they can have their fantasy fulfilled. Yeah. And then we're like, 
well, does that mean that everyone drank the water in order to facilitate this? I, I don't know. It doesn't but make is it. that all negated by the one person who's controlling all yeah, of this anyway? Exactly. Yeah. It, right. The rule, it, fast and loose, yes. we're moving here. Yep. With Should we the rules of talk about the people and their fantasies? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Sure, yeah. I, yeah. I just wanted to say, like, that's what's actually happening. Gotcha. But, okay, so now how does the island facilitate and what are the fantasies mm-hmm. that right. they're having? Mm-hmm. So we have... Uh, should we start with like the most interesting one or the least interesting one? Go with the most interesting. Most, one. I would say well, Lucy Hales is probably the most interesting because okay, that's also the one that's that the they, most happening. They, the most yeah. of the Featured, trailer, yeah. you said, yeah. Is, yeah. Oh, yes, yeah. Because like, let's be honest, this is the only horror one, really. Yeah. The yeah. other ones are like, like normal, just like normal twisted, fantasies. Yeah, yeah. They're like the twisted tales, they're like Black Mirror episodes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. That this movie competed with Black Mirror. I feel like too. Like Black Mirror's done stuff like this so much better mm. that we don't need movies like this anymore you know yeah. it's kind of how i felt about like the new twilight zone like do i really need this when i have black mirror which is the same thing but better you know right, right, right. um so lucy hale her childhood bully is in a saw trap basically with a two-way mirror yeah. um yeah, she and wants she's to torture her bully can't wait to torture her this and is revenge a fantasy. Yes. This is all you've it's a revenge for. fantasy yeah and we were talking out loud about this when we were watching it because you guys were saying like, oh my God, this would not even like cross my mind. You know, there'd no, be so many is, other uh, things. way down on the list. And I was like, well, I'd think of it, but I would quickly move on after thinking of it. Like the fact that yeah. she goes as far as she does with it, she, this woman's yeah, not yeah. well, yeah. right? Psycho, like, psycho, psycho I just feel like if someone's like, you get one, you get to live one out wish. one fantasy, mm-hmm. and it's dead. that revenge is not going to be anywhere on my radar. <laughs> no, yeah. I want pleasure. Yeah. You know, but the strange thing I want, is, I want to be you. happy. Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. <laughs> I, I wonder if the reason that that one feels the most developed is because that's the one that the writers could actually tap into. Like, you know, yeah. it's like, oh, absolutely. it feels like, uh, it, you know, of all of them, the, all of them are wish fulfillment in some way, but mm-hmm. that one is like, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, if I could get her, because I mean, there's like a whole. Most of the plot is devoted to that one, I right. think, in some way, mm-hmm. shape, or form. Um, but what I didn't get about her character was when she gets off the plane, she is like propositioning the guy, uh, the soldier Patrick. guy, and she's like, "I'll go back to your room with you," and blah blah blah. And so we're like, "Okay, what are the cues we're supposed to be reading off of this character?" Uh, and then you know, then it find, you find out that like she wasn't always like you know. Uh, good looking she used Mm -hmm. to be like tormented by her uh, classmates Mm -hmm. and all this other stuff and there was something to do with her shrink this is hard to accept looking at lucy hale yeah exactly and like this is all she's saying it faster than you just said that comment like this expo dump is just fast and loose and it's like wait what if they say it fast then it can't stick with you and you're just mm -hmm, like okay So she had to go to a shrink because she was being bullied and she called him Dr. Torture because she said he tortured her, which we don't really get any more information right. on. And I'm like, yeah. okay, so that's a child's perspective on therapy. Yes. That didn't actually happen. Yeah. That was 100%, her. Yeah. yeah. And then she goes back to school and does the therapist recommends she writes letters that you don't send to people, which mm-hmm. is a very common therapy. Topic. Yeah. I'm like, your therapist was doing his job. You can't be mad at him. I'm yeah, sorry. You can't be mad about Like that. this guy did literally his job. Yeah. And, um, but somehow her bully gets a handle on all these letters and, Paste them up all over yeah, the school, just which would be brutal. Like, that would be brutal. Truly, but don't yeah. take your letters to school. Well, yeah. Why? Why do you have, do you have a binder of your mean yeah. letters you're hauling around? You don't take like, them to school. Because I, I thought Dude, my therapist when they were, told me to burn it after I do it. That's like, a better well, idea. Yeah. And then when yeah. they were describing it, I thought that maybe they Roll were it up friends. And smoke it. Mm-hmm. You know, like they were friends, and this is like she was trying to get into the cool club or something, and no. the one friend was a no. total no. bitch. No, not friends. No. You know, but no. it's like they didn't really know each no. other no. at all. What is the distance between her high school and and the date of this movie? Right. It right. feels it like doesn't... there's been a few years, like 10 yeah. years, got to be, right? It, which it's like, yeah, if you're still hanging on to that. And it, she said it wasn't even just high school. It was like elementary school and high school. It was like all of her childhood, but it's like. Just go, girl. Just go to therapy instead of going to Fantasy Island. Just go to therapy yeah. and get help with this. This is an ex- this is yeah. it's intricate plot. But it's intricate. No, it's her intricate plan. Intricate plot. What am I there, saying? It, there's a lot of time spent on it for where this movie goes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I know because it basically just blows all this yes. up, and you're yeah. like, what in the fuck were we doing with the right. first? Okay, yeah. but anyway, so she's she's in like a saw chamber with a two way mirror, and her bully is strapped in the chair, and she's just pushing unlabeled buttons, and it starts off as physical torture, and in my opinion, gets way worse. Well, it does, but this is not true to the character eventually, right? Right. We're seeing this character alone. Yes. And so this whole thing is not. No, doesn't make it doesn't make it. It's not true to what happens with her character later. None of this works. No. Right. 
Right. This has all yep. been just yeah, it's Blown like open, they, yes. they just made shit up for yeah. the last yep. third of this movie yeah. and yeah. retconned yeah. everything. Well, I mean, yep. I thought they were doing that with her already. Like yeah. how we were introduced to her versus who she turned out to be versus who she turned out to turn out to be. Yeah. It was like <laughs> technically she got two fantasies. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she incepted her fan. She, yeah, she it, did. It's fantasy inception. It is. Because that's so. another rule, right? Each yeah. guest gets one fantasy. Yes. Unless right? you get two, which is the rule. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because we yeah. see it twice. Yes. <laughs> and, Bly, and then Maggie Q's like, I want to do it again, too. It's yeah. Like, the rules. And Ma- the yeah. Maggie Q runs around this movie being like, can I get a do-over? Can I get a do-over to everybody, <laughs> right, basically, right. until she gets her way. Yeah, but this... I love that this fantasy starts off as like just brutal saw torture and you're like, oh my God, that's kind of like, this is extreme. Maybe you should dial it back. And then like, I don't know, this kind of, I wasn't expecting cyberbullying and like, <laughs> and revenge porn as part of this plot. Wow. So yeah, it really was. And I love that it, it's Facebook and Facebook only. Did you guys notice that? Yeah. It was only posted to Facebook, which I was like, well, okay, nowadays it wouldn't be that, uh, not that many people are going to see it. <laughs> right. but, like, yeah. but no, it's instantaneous. It's, yeah. So she, it's like a it's video, all getting calls. And <laughs> yeah. A video of, the bully and not her husband having sex in a hotel room gets uploaded to her Facebook account and then sent directly to her husband. And then we watch a live feed of her husband watching the video. I love the, the live feed jump around we get here. That makes no sense, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. I'm, I'm liking that we're getting everybody's reaction to what's happening. Mm-hmm. Because really it also suggests, right? That there's a technological element to this where somebody went yes. off the Island yes. and set this up like the game, yes. yeah, right. you know, with Michael mm-hmm. Douglas or something like that. Right. Yeah. But it isn't apparently, no. I don't know how we're tapping into this it's not kind of, real it's the not. island knows how to use facebook i don't know yeah. why you're confused yeah what well, you're saying it's it not took real one of but its we hand find snakes out that snakes. got out to a computer yeah. exactly hand snakes but that is her real husband who is called on the phone that's true. in order to like because later that becomes a plot point that that's how we're going to get off the island a real phone call was made and, and then it's dropped yeah but i also don't understand why uh, the girl was abducted and brought to the island. She's like the only person from a fantasy that has to be actually brought to the island. The because rest of them she... are creations of this uh, goo, right? Yeah. The goo yeah. manifests itself as all the other characters on goo, the island. Goo manifests. Because she's actually a guest, too. It's part of the plan. Abducted against her will, but okay, I guess. <sighs> I hate that it all turns on that at yes. the end because then it w- makes yeah. discussing the movie fucking bullshit this movie like triple crosses itself and yeah. it's so it annoying does. but okay so and then we have Jimmy O. Yang and guy from Friday the 13th <laughs> brothers JD um, mm-hmm. who are living out a Grand Theft Auto fantasy like, basically they it have, does feel yeah. like it, yeah. it this feels like honestly maybe this movie should just be the Grand Theft Auto movie just slap that yeah. title on it because it's more like a Grand Theft Auto game than <laughs> yeah. Fantasy Island they're like, just like hanging out at the MTV beach house yes basically. exactly it and seems this exhausting is we get our it unrated does footage quote right Maybe. we watched, the, yeah, unrated we watched version, the unrated version tonight which same, is the same runtime same runtime which just means background boobs we yes. figured it out they were blurred Way out in the maybe in the who knows yeah, yeah. May, or yeah or more, there, more or shotguns CGI to the face bikini or, top yeah, yeah. yeah. probably yeah, yeah. yeah. but there's background boobs and bad they're way back boobs. there though you gotta yeah, they're way back there yeah. because yeah. we were going huh <laughs> like we had binoculars going are there boobs in the background it's the same girl in every shot it's amazing yeah yeah it's so Check out for that, I guess. I guess. But, um, and yeah, they're just like jet skis, crazy parties, mm-hmm. um, putting cannon or putting grenades, grenades into baseball launchers into the ocean. Yes. Yeah. Um, heists and shit. Just all kinds of douches. Like, I wouldn't touch what a grenade. What was their actual, no. like, what did they want? They just wanted to have it all. Yeah. I yes. think that's yeah. what they, so they're the dude bros, right? The, going yeah. on. <laughs> Except one of them's gay. So, yes. yeah. So um, he's a dude which, dude bro. Uh, dude, dude, my, dude bro. I'm telling myself the way he got the water was through the bong when he smoked weed. There I want to go. Now, see, if they had done that element. Yes. They eat I did you a favor, out. movie. Yeah. Yes. That would have been cool. Yeah. Because he yeah. does, he takes a hit off that bong and he sees his burnt. Like ghost, like creature, like pet cemetery. Yeah, yeah, show up the and then it yeah. disappears, and we're like, "Oh, what the hell does that have to do with anything?" Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> this is a it's a it's a movie with a bunch of moral lessons by the end of it, which is yeah, actually it's kind a of preachy <laughs> movie. Yeah, very right, preachy. Just what I want. Well, that's most Blumhouse movies produced by Ryan Turk. Uh, yeah, so you uh, got a point. <laughs> uh, so who who's yeah, our there next? There's a common denominator here. Wait, Colin, you, you say, are correct. What was uh, uh, Maggie Q's? Um, oh, oh, we didn't fantasy, say that. Yeah. Um, is that she turned down like five years ago? A guy proposed to her, and mm-hmm. they 
and she turned it down. So she wants to go back to yeah. the restaurant. Because and she, also, she feels she doesn't deserve love, and yeah. that's her yeah. problem. But the, a big part about this scenario is that Michael Pena actually like coaxes it out of her. Yes. He asks her very specific questions and decides, well, that's your fantasy. Mm-hmm. And so he kind of dictates her fantasy for her. She true, just says, true. okay, you're probably right. She doesn't like decide for herself, right. which is a key thing for later on in the movie. Right. True. Yep. And this is this is where you're like, is this a horror movie? Because it's a lot. I'm sorry. There's it's too many scenes with her in this. Too many scenes of her melodrama. Like, cut them down. We well, get it. We yeah. get it. Because she's, yeah. I mean, it really, it's seriously, this is actually so probably closer to the original Fantasy Island, yeah. I imagine. Yeah. Is, yeah. She wanted to, you know, the guy proposed, she turned him down. So this time at the restaurant, she accepts. After she goes through the, like, how is this real? And did they mm-hmm. fly you in? And, mm-hmm. you know, whatever. But time has warped and all that stuff. And then she wakes up the next morning and she has a kid with him and all these memories that, on her phone. And when mm-hmm. she looks at him, she five remembers all this stuff. Five years mm-hmm. have passed. But we know that somewhere there's like, you can't have your cake and eat it too. There's mm-hmm. some price you have to pay for this. Mm-hmm. Who's our, uh, our, our next uh, uh, contestant? And then Patrick. Patrick, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. This guy, Stolen Valor is his <laughs> fantasy. Guy. Like, I hate this man. <laughs> yeah, this guy. And like, I think I kind of hate this actor, too. I think I he's part the of the actor. problem. Yes. Yeah. Um, this guy wants to be a soldier. This is his fantasy. I'm sorry. Yeah. This is, I'm sorry. He, wa- he, he wants, wants to be a hero. He wants yeah. to be a hero because his yeah. dad was a hero. Yeah. His dad jumped on a grenade for his men. <laughs> yep. And, yeah. And, and died. And he was a cop. He wanted to be a, uh, he wanted to be a soldier, but couldn't because. Reasons. 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 Yeah. And his his became, mom wouldn't let him. No, he said there I was, thought it was his mom incident. Him. And then I thought, no, no, yeah. no, no. The incident was why he worked a desk job as a yeah. cop. And yeah. we eventually yeah. see what that incident was. But uh, there was yeah. a reason okay. he couldn't become. Was it his mom? Yes. His mom. Okay. Yeah, his mom wouldn't let him because that's how his dad died. But yeah. he wears the dog tags around because he wants the glory of people thinking he was yep. a soldier. It's like, dude, you can't make Oof. stolen valor your personality. That's not cool. <laughs> well, he doesn't wear them. Well, I, I was going to say he doesn't wear them on the outside, but he does. He does. He, he, uh, they outside are of his shirt. Yeah. When he first yeah. meets yeah. people. Yeah. And his thing is that when he was a police officer, something happened. We're not told what it was, mm-hmm. but that's why he was remanded to a desk. So, yes. so mm-hmm. you, you have this. He has to live up to the standards that his dad set. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, what happens? So, what, I guess. Well, what happens on his uh, 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 fantasy? He, he is taken out to the jungle um, uh, and given fatigues and a pack and everything. And he's. Uh, I was when I saw this, I was like, oh, so he's going to going into war. What a fantasy! Awesome. Right? I don't know, put this kid in Vietnam. Well, he gets off the fucking yeah. thing going like, okay, it's Call of Duty time. And you're like, yeah. okay. I was like, your fantasy's going to Nam? What yeah, the fuck? This is not cool, man. There's napalm and shit. Um, this guy doesn't deserve it. Like, no. does what not deserve fuck? it. Like, but then he is, <clears throat> then he is eventually uh, come upon by a group of soldiers, about four or five of them. I think we should mention that before that he uh, encounters Michael Rooker. I was going to say, yeah, Michael Rooker's <laughs> lurking around in the bushes. Oh, in yeah, scene. Michael, Michael Rooker's yeah. lurk- lurking in this movie. Yes. <laughs> I forgot about Michael Rooker. Literally, Rooker. like, yeah. hiding behind bushes. Yes. <laughs> should I remember him? Michael Rooker has the weirdest fucking character yes. in this movie. He's a, he's a journalist. He, no, he's a he's private a PI. investigator. Yeah, yeah that's a PI. it. So, the least <laughs> inconspicuous private. I would not hire ever. this man as yes. a PI. Yeah. I know. Because he's just, all we see is him lurking in the bushes, yeah. looking all raggedy. Crazy like, oh my God, he's been there for a while. And who's this guy? He tells us. He's like, I booked the stay three weeks ago. I was like, what the fuck <laughs> happened <laughs> to you? What did it's you been, go it's through? It's only been three weeks? Holy shit. Yeah, that's what you look <laughs> You look horrible. Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember in um, uh, fucking um, Skull Island when they come across um, Jack Black? No, not no, oh John C. Riley. Riley. John C. Riley. Riley. Like that's the yes. vibe I'm getting. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the vibe I'm yeah. getting. Yeah, yeah. Yes, <laughs> that movie was better than it should have been. Yeah, it was. It it really was. I enjoyed it. I kind of enjoyed. I like that movie. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So. If I watched it the whole way through, it's oh. stupid, but it's, oh yeah, yeah, it's I enjoy real stupid. It. Enjoy it. Yeah. But anyway, um, okay. So Rooker being a private detective <laughs> is okay. So so how so then we have to like uh we got to bring all these characters together lucy hale is torturing the girl yes. yeah. until because it's fun to torture someone until yes. you realize it's real and then it's you're real. like oh no i didn't actually want to do it for real and so she engineers a way for her to escape from her hostile uh torture chamber captor which is mm. i think a roided out version of her psychiatrist with his yes. mouth yeah. sewn shut yeah. because she said she wanted he to staple so his mouth shut. Yeah. Yes, these feel like thirteen ghost characters. Right, yes. he looks mm-hmm. like a thirteen ghost yes. character. Yeah. He does. He has big professional wrestler energy. He really like, does. He is, yeah, yeah. He probably was at some point. Yeah. Like, I don't even know who the actor was in yeah. it, but it's probably like somebody. 
And and Lucy Hale saves uh, the girl Meredith yes. from the torturer. Not, that's not, not her name. Nope. Was no. it Meredith? Oh, sure. Her, no. Lucy Hale was Meredith. No, her, no, no. Melanie. 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 Okay. But she thinks she's Meredith. The bully calls that's her supposed Meredith. to be a joke. Oh, okay. The bully is Sloan. Sloan. Yeah. Sloan. Okay. Yes. There we go. All right. So the two of them break Ooh. free and run through the jungle. Right. And then we start getting into making this character a main character yeah. of the movie. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> yeah. I have no interest because in this woman. Because she has an arc now. Yeah. yeah. She has a character arc because yeah. she has to apologize for being a bully in order to solve this movie. Both of them do, oh, I yeah. guess, right? That becomes their their arc is they have so to. So stupid. And they <laughs> meet Michael Rooker who takes them to the sacred heart of This the is what's island. causing oh, the problem. This is We're going to leave. This is yeah. This might be the dumbest scene in this whole movie, right? Come look at your fantasies in this rock. All right, let's go back now. Like, I think yeah. You, it, and the, his like, whole thing is like, all right, you've seen this and everything. Here's a map to everything. Here's uh, here's some of the water which causes all this. Take it to the uh, take it to the mainland and tell the world yeah. is his only advice for this, <laughs> which is you He's can't. Been here for three weeks, and there, this is what he tells them. There is no tell the world. There is, there is no simplicity in tell the world. Yeah, it take doesn't the water, happen. The black yeah. water. Right, right. It's gonna. You are if you come back with this story and this, you are nuts, and yeah. or somebody online will believe you, but uh, no one's gonna pay attention mm-hmm. to you. Yeah. I <gasps> had many questions at this uh, okay. scene because I, I mean maybe it is the dumbest thing, but it uh, is dumb. well the qu- first question is if he so he's a, a private investigator who's been hired to find the secret of the island by somebody who heard about the island and wanted to know how they do their what they do yeah so he staged uh, coming to see his daughter. And mm-hmm. apparently he got that. Then somehow he figured out that they kill people on this island for real. And so now he's been living in the bush. Did now he helps track of him? the people, I guess. Now he helps the people who arrive on the island. I found this thing in the in the cave. And you're going to take the water and go expose it. But then the question that we have is like, well, why don't we just destroy this uh, obsidian rock right. glowing thing? right here yeah. right now why doesn't he do this right. why doesn't he take the water and go off the because he's oh, like yeah. here's the number for the you know, call the plane i'm like because michael worker needed to get back to atlanta to shoot the next guardians movie or something probably, probably. Sure. <laughs> but he's pretty he's, much out but he's after. proof that there's no consequences for not fulfilling like your entire fantasy, right. right yeah exactly. like, what he does just that he mean? just goes off yeah. to live on the island yeah 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 He's like, so it, he's, he's, one point he says, like he's not helping. He's no, bringing he's up like, more questions. He's like, I saw my daughter and it was wonderful until it wasn't. Her eyes bled black. And, but and he, what did you do? Did but, you like you got away. Daughter? Like, yeah. so there's no consequences for him. Nope. Because the island should have a specific interest in, in killing him. Since, I mean, what is the power of this island? Other exactly. Than, the rules are not clear. Well, the only thing that we know that it can do is through its water, it can it can create like a, a, a hol- well, I don't know, it's a, an avatar of a person, right? Yeah. That's basically what it does. It yes. can create a bunch of them. Like all these people it creates. Uh, yeah, because eventually know. we get a, 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 a Russian invaders yeah. at a certain point. We, yeah. get the, we get the Russian mob, we get models, like there's all kinds True, of True, the model, there are yeah. a lot of Chastity. We, Let's not forget the character of Chastity, who is <laughs> that was funny. That was, that was Chastity. I'm really JD's disappointed. Fantasy woman. Yeah. yeah, Chastity. I'm really disappointed. Really disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> Because uh, that crew ends up finding like a uh, panic an armory yeah. and a panic room. Oh, a and grand, it's a Grand Theft Auto mansion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. because I guess their whole thing is like you know it's like you want it all, but then Mister Rourke has to explain it's like well other people want to take it all, yeah. and then it's like a Colombian drug cartel or something Basically, shows up yeah. and led by Kim led Coates. by Kim Coates. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> putting on this crazy Russian accent. Oh, it's oh beautiful. my god! And uh, I was and, like, oh, they let you out of Sons of Anarchy for a couple weeks, yeah, huh? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, nice. and, and he's got some great lines in this or yeah. reactions to it, it was pretty fun there was one I don't know I forgot what he was doing but it was great he's like Ugh. it was when Jimmy O. Yang bit his arm when they were fighting oh, right and then, and then, then goes, they ah! <laughs> 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 oh, screaming, like, ah! it was so good and these uh, these folks, as you mentioned, they their eyes do bleed black because that yes. seems to be they the, pop the thing. black if they yeah. if they as a quote unquote normal character die and the zombification, you know, they come back. Why? Go, yeah, why? Because why? it looks cool. It, we need horror elements no, I mean, why right? do they come back? Because uh, they've been know. killed 
Because it, those were not the natural conclusions of their fantasies, and those things must rise and finish them. Is, so that's the consequences. The the, the black right. goo will <laughs> sure. Uh, well, okay. Or, the yeah. black goo will finish. It's like <laughs> it's the fucking cloud monster. <laughs> <laughs> Lost again. Lost again. Um, it's the smoke monster. Yeah. So. JD and his brother Braxton, uh, or T, as T. he is known. Mm -hmm. uh, Dude, I'm not kidding. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Should have um, known. I'm like, what, what? What could T stand for? What could T stand for? Should have known. It's real dumb. So they, known. they basically, yeah, uh, we're gonna we're gonna go there. So, uh, but they end up spending most of the movie uh, being held captive, I think, by the the mercenaries who mm -hmm. come mm -hmm. to take their place because mm -hmm. they're looking for the cocaine. Who? Well, whatever. Where's um, the cocaine and cash? Uh, Lucy Hale and. Uh, uh, Sloan are off running around trying to escape the island with the help of Mike Rooker. Right. And then Lucy um, Hale Maggie has Cusin to... Maggie Hughes sitting on a beach with her husband. She got the easiest turn she, of this yeah. really She did. really did. Uh, Lucy Hale and her, and her Sloan are going through the woods. And there's a lot of effort put into that relationship yeah. in these parts. Right. Which... Uh, so much so it comes down to Lucy Hale like showing her the footage of, look look I tried to help and I stopped everything. Like there's so much effort put into it but it doesn't make... A lot of sense no, in the moment. It doesn't. Like, because why? Well, she's pretending, Lucy Hale's pretending get, that she yeah. was also kidnapped because right. she doesn't want to admit that but, she, it, you're living out my my torture fan. Right. So she's trying to yeah. hide that as it goes along. But, <sighs> but eventually it comes out and then there's tension. Yeah, there's no. tension. But again, it doesn't. But yeah, matter. Michael Rooker is like, you need to apologize to each other. Yeah. He's a very yeah. wise man. He's like, really you can't is. bring this back and you can't fix this and blah, blah, blah. Yep. Then and we then, have Patrick. Oh. Sorry, and his thing is mm -hmm. that he ends up being uh, he's he's captured in in uh, in the jungle yeah. by mm -hmm. his dad's unit. Yeah. It's, a, mm -hmm. it's actually his dad, and so then there's this whole thing about like I'm actually your son from 20 years, 23 years from now. Yeah, mm -hmm. This is a little, real big frequency moment going on. Right yeah. Now. But it ends, well, it doesn't end, but there's like a, because the whole thing is dad threw himself on a grenade to protect his men in a mission in Venezuela, which they leave for tomorrow. I've never seen a son want his dad to die so bad. Yeah. So yeah. bad. Oh my God. So weird. The I'm like, fight. you must so become weird. a hero. Strange. Yes. Yeah. You, you must this, die. He, he, was this not your fantasy, right? To save your dad? Was this not the whole point of this, right? Like, uh, no, just, it wasn't. Oh my no, god, I know. But he's, it this, <laughs> this character is so hateable. I'm sorry. Well, because this, this character starts as like he makes it sound like he wants to be a soldier. That's yeah. his fantasy, and yeah. then we find out. Oh, here's his dad. He wants to save his dad. That's yeah. his fantasy. Yeah. And but like, we realize it's, it's to be a he hero. He wants yeah. to be a hero. That's, the, his, that's fantasy. his fantasy. But yeah. their fight in this creek where they're just flipping each other over on their backs multiple times yeah. what the fuck is this that was the weirdest thing because i'm like so this weird. is a dad and his son yes. and they agree that they are through some kind of magic thing yeah. like and they fight each other they're pointing guns at each other yeah. they're yeah. fighting each other i'm like i'm like wh who fucking wrote this thing like, like, you, make, you, you know just got reunited like with your dad <laughs> who you who right. you died when you were very young and no you point a gun at him to go there and die because that's like what you're supposed to do that's and, your destiny i guess yeah and dad yeah. is like a coward or something yeah. he's like no well i'm or a sane person you're yeah, like if i know person, that i'm yeah. gonna die tomorrow I'm, fuck no i'm taking off exactly. and so that becomes right. like the no you're gonna stay and do it because mm -hmm. otherwise your men are gonna die so yeah. weird and just the way that okay one of them is a soldier one of them is not but yet their skill levels seem matched in this fight yeah. you know what i'm saying well, later uh, patrick's mm -hmm. pulling off headshots right. and single shots and all this other stuff because he's a cop and so we know he's got yeah. cop training you yeah. know he's able to do this but them flipping each other over in this shallow creek is the stupidest looking fight i've seen in a yeah. while yeah. Well, to adult men like, why i mean it's just to add you know conflict right here in the yeah. middle it's like what the fuck mm -hmm. because eventually they're going to end up going to venezuela where apparently they're at the house where jd and braxton mm -hmm. are being attacked by the russians or the mm -hmm. colombians or whoever they everyone's are everyone's in mass we have we have a clown yeah. we have a pig we have a <laughs> yeah, they label Grand it Theft Auto so now we have skins yeah. fantasies yeah. intercepting each other yeah. yes. yes fantasies intercepting. They're overlap. okay but yep. the one that kind of ties all this together is maggie q who we've been like well she basically got everything since she wanted yeah. she got a kid and she got the husband we she's waiting a long time. time for the other shoe to drop in hers yeah. like it takes yeah. a long time for it to take because she's not being obviously threatened yet in yeah. any of her scenarios. Well, except she does also see the burned guy. She does. Hers. Yeah. I think she was the only other one. I think, Folks, dear all... listener, remember the burned, yeah. burned yeah. guy. Because it's apparently such a... It's super yeah. Apparently it's super Well, because she's, she's her own consequence, where she's like, 
this is not the fantasy that I would have picked. Right. Her guilt. I yeah. Guess, her guilt gets the best. She's like, I don't deserve this. Mm-hmm. What I really want to do is right a wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, what is that? A random wrong. Yeah. Uh, a fire took place in her apartment. Which and, she caused. Yeah. Which she caused on accident, but she caused. Oh. And uh, her neighbor died. Yeah. Her upstairs neighbor died. Which, okay. Which are we, are we getting to this point? Mm-hmm. Which, which apparently... Yeah. Everyone knew. Everyone yeah. who everyone was brought has to the island. A connection was, to right. them. Everyone it's like has a, seven pounds. So yeah. the, like seven pounds, like final <laughs> yeah. destination. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. There's, a, there's a connection yeah. that brings them all. Because she re experiences yeah. the incident. Yes. She finds out Patrick was the cop who was like, right, we're not going right. up there. there there's an incident. Up. Right. There's an incident in the fire. So she goes through and she asks for another mm-hmm. fantasy. And she is uh, allowed that because it, rules don't matter. And she, so she goes through the door and she ends up back in the apartment building she lived in when the incident mm-hmm. occurred. And so and she's doing a lot of, I'm, I'm glad, oh, she looks like she's in shape and thank God because she had to run up and down a lot yeah. of stairs, a lot yeah. of smoke going on yeah. and everything. <laughs> she should be dead in this movie. But um, <clears throat> there's a fire. We find out that JD and Brax were roommates. Were roommates. Yep. With the guy who died. Right. And there's a lot of explanation. Nick, of, Nick, is, Nick, yeah. Nick yeah. is the guy who died. And, and the, we're, it is at this point, an hour and something in, we are introduced to the character of Nick. Yes. And now at this point, who is the pretty much the crux right. of the rest of the movie. Right. Yeah. And we have not heard of this person until now. Yeah. Right. And we're supposed to We've care. seen glimpses of his charred right. self. But, but we don't yeah. know. But we don't know that's who it is. Yeah. Right. No idea. It's these like goo monsters or something. Right. We think it's island entities. Yeah. I right. don't think it's and and so she sees, yeah, Braxton and JD are were his roommates. She goes outside to get help and talks to the police officer who is JD, and he's like, "No, Patrick, it's uh, Patrick, Patrick or Patrick, the big yeah, guy. the soldier." Um, the soldier he talks to him, and he's like, "We have to wait for the fire department." She's like, "Come on, come help!" And he's he blows her off. Basically. Right, so, he, yeah. he he yeah. blows and off this his is hero his moment. Incident, yeah. right? Right, this yeah. is yeah. the incident that put yeah. him on a desk. Yep. And then, is there anyone else? There's got to be someone else. She uh, Lucy, see Hale, anybody Lucy. Else because Lucy Hale, we're in the there's she's, a circle of explanation. Says, oh, yeah. I, had, I, I, I had a class with him. We were supposed to go on a date. Yeah, right. and I, I blew him off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> and so that links everybody except Sloane together in this, <laughs> right. right? Yeah. Um, and so, and so they all their yeah you know, all their fantasies yeah. are intersecting. They're all yeah. running through each yeah. other's stuff, and then eventually that then is the, going to take like, us yeah. to the the the, the cave the because cave. they yeah because yeah. they had seen the cave earlier, and and Lucy Hale is going to yeah take it's like I know it's there. We can go down there, and their plan is do they come with the plan now to blow it up? Yeah, because they're well, yeah, they're, they're they trying to get off the island. Rooker sacrifices himself trying to save the girls by killing one of the. <laughs> Uh, does, they try to then cliff. Lucy Hale's like, but we actually called your hu- real husband. In the, yes. the the room, whatever the hatch. Mm-hmm. So they run down to the hatch and they call her husband <laughs> the and they're like, send a plane. Mm-hmm. So he does, and some the, the bad don't. guys we, blow we, it out of the sky with a rocket launcher. Yes, and then, yeah. uh, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Great moment, great moment. Yeah. Very good. Great. That was the part that really made me be like, oh, this is Grand Theft Auto. Because that's like what, <laughs> when you log in online on Grand Theft Auto, that's like what happens as soon as you log in. Other players are shooting down helicopters. Right, yeah. yeah. It's chaos. It really is. Yeah. Well, and, and if I remember, and JD takes a shot to the 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 chest. At yeah, some point. He does. so he is yep. killed. JD's and it's a, killed. And then the finally rest of a body Pat- count started. Finally, Pat- someone Patrick's dies. dad is killed. Mm-hmm. Right, Patrick's dad's killed. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff with grenades. A lot of stuff with grenades yep. in this. Yep. Where like, uh, I want to say that uh, T. Sorry, what was his name? Braxton. Braxton. Yeah. It yeah. does a lot of like, this is my fantasy, and not yours, and I'm gonna somehow manage my way out of this. Like he, he uh, does. He, he, he does. never says it's his fantasy. He just says this isn't your fantasy. Oh right, right he right. does. And so he's like, he's gone into the armory. He's blown one of the guys away through the door. He comes out holding a grenade without the pin and everything. Yeah, yeah. And he tells everyone to put their guns down. This is very funny moments because he's like, all right, you're gonna lead me downstairs, and we're all gonna wear masks. And he's dressed the same. As he was, and yeah. he's like, I'll put on this mask, and no one will know. Yeah. And like, Jimmy O. Yang is a very noticeable person. For a, he looks, yeah. he's much smaller and shorter yeah. than everyone and else in this group. He's and also, also wearing shark skin yeah. suit with yeah, yeah. the nice he's, pants. He's wearing like a shiny like <laughs> yeah. suit instead of like black fatigues. Yes. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, you don't fit. Yeah. I think that's Proud. where like all the the shooting starts, and yeah. that's where Patrick's dad's yes. killed, and like right. uh, and there's a convergence. Lots of shooting in there. Yeah. yeah, and then that's also where the zombie guys start uh, wandering they really around start the black. Yeah. To do. Kim Coates and his whole gang yeah, yeah, yeah. And they, his eyes pop and yeah. then they all make right. their way back to the, the main house the survivors do yes and that's, that's yeah they make their way back to the main house and then that's where they say that they want to go back to 
blow up the stone or whatever. Yeah, they and have a final run in with Michael Pena and Julia. Yes, because they we find out that people. Julia is actually Michael Pena's wife in right. his fantasy. Well, we haven't figured that out yet. Right. Right now, oh. right now well, they th- we figured it out. Yeah. But yeah. Right they now they think that. It. Right now they think that's Nick's mom. Yeah. Oh right, because yeah. they're yeah. like some that we're actually in somebody else's fantasy. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And they want revenge for Nick's but death, we, and we're all connected. But we know that's not accurate because as they're running away, Michael Pena stops and says she wants them all together so we know that yeah. there's a she yeah that's mm-hmm. orchestrating this whole thing but okay. it's not julia yeah yeah and so this is when they go back down to the cave and everyone decides to separate because this is the smart thing hand snakes. no yes. good <laughs> what hand, hand snakes. snakes oh yeah we get hand snakes, I about hand snakes. <laughs> yeah there's like sea snakes there's warned about patrick's going a through a weird doppelganger yeah, there's a yeah a weird just, there's a copy like, of shit Sloan. starts happening for no fucking for reason no at all. reason <laughs> hand for, snakes pull but patrick underwater yeah right? hand snakes yeah. he's followed by snakes which turn into hands which pull him underwater for no other reason and then he gets up and then he's fine, fine. Yeah. then he gets out and he's, he's fine, fine. Uh, it is ten minutes later that we cut back to him, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. then he's followed by his father's uh, ghost. He it, has to kill his father. He's got to his father. Yeah. Which, yeah. Is he the one that says, "No, we can split up. I'll just follow the sound of your voice." Yeah, there's a, uh, there's no, a lot you're of in an echoey cave, bro. There's like, a lot of let's. Well, we're gonna. I'm gonna let's make this more complicated than it needs to yes. be. It keeps doing that. But it's so, he- it but it's so did... heavy-handed in its dialogue yeah. around it. It it's is just in, so in, blunt. in what it's trying to do yeah. for I, the entire movie. Yeah, it is very heavy-handed. Yeah. But, um, but he but he gets he comes up and after he murders the, the zombie of his father, um, he gets out of the water and then Lucy Hale comes up and then just stabs the shit out of him. Mm-hmm. And we're like, what? Mm-hmm. We're like, huh? What? What's going on? And this man mm-hmm. should be dead. So explain to me what was really happening on Fantasy Island. It's Lucy Hale's fantasy. <laughs> yep. And she turns into a scream killer. What was her yeah. monologue? Okay. She yeah. wanted. Yeah. I'm telling you, she wanted to be gen- in a scream movie. Yeah. Like she yeah. was in yeah. one in the oh, cold open, but she wanted to be it in. It was yeah. the she worst did. fucking scene. Like because she, it's the scene where like all the people are gathered and she gets to go like, well, you I'm all a different killed character now. Nick, yeah. and here's why. You know, Nick and I were supposed to go on a date. And their this first is, date. Yeah. No one yeah. like like me because Mary uh, Sloan had you know destroyed my reputation, but Nick actually wanted me to go out. And so this was the night I was supposed to go out with him, and you all fucking killed him. Now how she knows this, we don't know, but whatever. She, she read it in the paper. Pieced it together. Right. Sure. That, yep, yep. Okay. That's what she says. If if no, they should have. They put all that detail in the newspaper. So they they're like flashed. his neighbor started a fire, and she then his the roommates research. this, and then the cop didn't do shit. Like that. And they are in that said. moment. Would it have killed them to show an ugly Lucy Hale a little bit in that flashback for some reason? You know. Yeah, because she's the only one that Maggie Hughes like. I didn't see you there. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. because she. Well, that's I, it's like thing. I knew him. I did that. And then, but now yeah. she's just an evil fucking. Now character. she's just evil. Yeah. She just yeah. wants them all dead. Yes. yes. And so how are we going to save everybody? Because Lucy Hale is like, you're all here to serve my revenge fantasy. Because and we of- go like, well, how is Sloan here if you got two? Fa- Whatever. So, OK. So uh, <laughs> so does Lucy Hale allow Sloan to drink the water and have a fantasy while she's standing there threatening these people? Yes. Yeah, I think she like doesn't realize what's happening. She's like drinking it as they're explaining what's happening. Right. Mm. Yeah. Lucy uh, Sloan gets the idea. If I drink it, I can actually have a fantasy. Well, too. Maggie Q tells Maggie her. Maggie Q tells oh, her. Oh, right. Or, right. Yeah. 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 It's just, but Michael Pena has a, a conflict of conscience after how many years? Of yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. You just got to let your wife go. She bro, dies bro, every day. Bro. She doesn't know who she, that she is your wife. He gets to live forever with his wife on the island. Yeah, but she like dies every now and again, and then he's got to yeah. redo it and everything. Mm-hmm. And then they have a heart to heart while she's coughing all over him. And then yeah. the ring disappears in black goo. And then yeah. he comes back. And he's and, like, okay, and he's like she up. gets a fantasy as well. Yeah, you're you like. also my guest. You get a fantasy. Right. And you get a fantasy. And you, you get, get a fantasy. fantasy. And so she drinks it. <coughs> Sloan does. And so her fantasy is that, that Lucy Hale will be with Nick forever. Right, and we'll be with yep. Nick forever. And this uh, vague, uh, vague, v- vague, 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 vague at this point. Um, and so this is, and we get a, we get to see Nick, the unburned Nick, and the unburned Nick. But yep. I don't care because I've yeah. never seen this man yeah, before. We don't so care. I don't know this man, so I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, don't. I also care. don't, I don't get think the doppelganger would. Sloan. That, yeah, like, I don't understand that at all. Scenes, yeah. so, like, don't why don't that make that was no left sense. In the movie and that even that was a weird thing because they could have done like the real one gets shot and the doppelganger is alive, but they don't do anything interesting with it. Right. Um. So <clears throat> she does wish for her and Nick to be together forever. And some Nick um, zombie Nick zombie Nick in a very Friday the 13th way uh, jumps out of the 
water in which is surrounding the black heart of the island and pulls her into the water. Well, they'll be mm-hmm. together forever. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she had a grenade in her hand <laughs> at this moment. Yep. Mm-hmm. Or the grenade was thrown into the water, either one. Doesn't matter. Doesn't the matter, but gets she gets pulled in. Yeah. Right. But then Patrick, who had been stabbed to death moments before, uh, wasn't actually dead. No, mm-hmm. wanders back in. Throws himself. And he's like, ah. Oh. And then yeah. Lucy Hale jumps out of the water and has thrown the grenade to try and kill everybody at yeah. the last moment. And so Patrick jumps on it to be a hero. Because sure. Well, that yeah. that finishes his but arc. Also, he gets but to be also, a hero by and also, like but also, but this, uh, he's like the polar bear turning the thing that transports the island. Colin. <laughs> and I know, you know what I'm talking hey, about. Yes, I do. But that's what that is. <laughs> so. And so now, they, with they, only uh, you know, a few survivors left, mm-hmm. uh, they all, like a, there's a big flash, and they're all still on the island, but they're in just in different areas, yeah. and so they have to it's meet like, up again. Yeah, and now they're ready to go home. Which how with, with, does with, that with work just, after you right? Yeah. But, just after all of that, as calm as they are, how would you not slap yeah. a shit out but, of but Mike Mr. Pena? Rourke? Is able to give away, you know, like well, like dreams, fantasies also evaporate over time, and you kind of only remember the feeling. Yeah, uh, not the memory. No, um, like, this doesn't make trauma any is a thing that exists. Yeah, These people went trauma through some very traumatic. Yeah, there's not gonna, this yeah. certain people who aren't coming back from yeah. the island, and yeah. lawsuits right. and right. investigations will happen. Right. But it's supernatural. Who the fuck cares? Well, well the they end up well, 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 they find a way to cover their ass a little bit because they keep Jimmy O Yang behind. So, right. So there's not a brother going back without another brother. They're both gone. Right. So, right. But like, so like, tell me specifically but, about him staying behind. Right. So Jimmy O Yang is like. Braxton Braxton was living his brother's fantasy, so he didn't actually get his own fantasy. Right. Yeah. So in order to get his own fantasy, he would have to stay on the island because his fantasy is that his brother will live. Yes, but it's like Which that's possible. Which doesn't make any sense. But None stay, you have to whatsoever. I don't know, like, again, this does, the, does the power of the island extend off the island? Because uh, I right. see no, the JD island, is the island, alive on right. the plane right. the in exchange creates. for him staying behind. Right. We're creating new rules in the last scene of this we movie. We are. And I mean, to, by those standards, so Michael Pena's wife could leave the island and live her yeah, life. Exactly. So he literally is keeping her he prisoner. He is they keeping correct, her prisoner, yeah. 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 Well, it turns Man, out. Fuck that. that, uh, that as T, we said, yeah, T was Braxton his nickname. And his nickname is T. Why? Because, because he got the stupidest ink in the history of yeah. the world. And as he reveals at the end, he pulls aside his shirt and it just says, it's a tattoo of the, the word, word tattoo. tattoo. So get it. It's his nickname now, guys. <laughs> yep. And so he Hilarious. becomes Mr. Rourke's tattoo. Welcome to Fantasy Island. And so it, it turns yeah. out this was an origin story for <laughs> yeah. the TV show Fantasy yeah. so Island. Michael Payne is going to turn into go. Ricardo Montalban, mm-hmm. and then Jimmy O. Yang <laughs> is going to yeah. shrink her yes. very village yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And there we go. Oh, man. That was a lot of plot. Yeah. I feel like lot. Woo! So things, much. Not wow, a yeah. lot of story, no. but a lot of plot, which I think you do when you don't have a story that actually yes. carries you through. Right. Uh, that yes. took a lot of effort just to like recap that. I know. Oh I'm, my I'm God. exhausted I'm from tired. tired. But we were all we were all doing good. Like yeah. we were chugging along just as fast as this movie was. Yeah. For wow. an hour and fifty minutes. Yeah, that was Way an ordeal. But what did we think of it? I mean, that's really Is the thought question. That- possible with this movie because <laughs> we were just trying to follow it, you know. Yeah. But uh, we're going to tell you if you should watch the movie <laughs> Fantasy. Island. I know there's a TV show because when I was googling it or IMDb to look uh-huh. it up, the new TV show and the old TV show showed up before. Yes. Mm-hmm. I couldn't find the. I had to put in more characters yeah, before right. the actual you keep the movie going. showed up. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, but first, uh, before we get to that, we're going to read some of your mail. And to do that, we're going to have to call in the assistance of Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thank you, sir. I don't want to know what his He's fantasy is. He's about the size to be... Her villa chase. I mean, <laughs> don't you think that's what he is for Colin? It kind of is, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. The mail, boss. The, the mail. mail. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There it is. Found it. Found it. Found it. Oh, so wait. I'm Mr. Rourke in this. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. that's not bad. Yeah. 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 Y
Yeah, right? I mean, yeah. you Don Johnson. Yeah. You or might look a little more Matlock than me. <laughs> but <laughs> you, need, you need to get more of a tan. Right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so uh, in order to participate on this interactive portion of our show, you can follow along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Where you can email us directly. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. And I do want to point out that speaking of Igor uh, Bischoff Ullery I think oh. uh, or was it? no I don't uh, know you, I uh, have this is all you I okay. have not looked at this well, no, this is your Joey fantasy Blythe. Colin was it Joey Blythe it was Joey oh, Blythe Joey, yeah, sorry no Joey problem. Blythe thank you very much uh, uh, created uh, AI created uh, uh, poster art from several of our f- previous movies with his interpretation of Igor on the uh, poster okay. art. So okay, I haven't seen these yet, so yeah. I will. Yeah, I yeah we will go check these out. out. I miss some stuff sometimes, so yeah, I'll go. I'm, I'm curious of what his interpretation of yes. what Igor. Yeah, there you go. Blair Witch Two poster <laughs> and the <laughs> wonderful yeah. poster. The beautiful of Igor. He only exists in your mind and in your heart. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're gonna find out what he looks like about tonight's movie, Fantasy Island. Adam Kaler writes in and says, "Was this?" the start of turning non-horror properties into horror movies. Michael Pena was wasted on such a boring character as Mr. Rourke. If he somehow yes. came off more sinister, I'd be fine with it, but he was so bland. Freak show, given the offer to vacation on an island where your wildest dreams came true, do you go Do you go, or do you assume it's menacing instead? And what if you were promised a puppy to take home? <laughs> The puppy helps, the puppy but really helps, I, I've yeah. seen too much really to know helps. that like this is going to twist into evilness at some point or weirdness. So I'll be like, eh. I think the, see, it may, for me, the fact that like other people have heard of this island and there's like people that talk about it and that's how they bring new people in. I'd fall for it and be like, yeah, hell yeah. It's an MLM. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. I'd be like, well, clearly other people have done it. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Because that I, sounds amazing. If there, yeah. If there is a thing where people are coming yeah. back from this island, yeah. then that helps. Right. People come yeah. back from hedonism too. Uh, I that's a good. I point. know what you're talking yeah. about. Okay. I watched Jerry Springer. That's, okay. <laughs> that's a good point. And, yeah, was that Fantasy Hedonism. Island? Uh, basically, uh, yes. Uh, Steve, uh, actually, it was this the start of turning. Uh, I don't think it's the see, start. This, but the thing is, like, I am all for taking a property and yeah. turning it into horror. I think right. that's yeah. a cool thing to Winnie do. That's look at Winnie, yeah. Winnie the Pooh. I was I'm not say okay with that. Barney's next. I'm not okay with that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, but, other, okay, but other okay, things, I'm you. okay with the idea of it. I think it'd be really cool. It, yeah. Mm-hmm. What was the other one? It was I know. I, was like, I feel morning, like we're missing a big one. Well, there was a Saturday morning cart. Uh, oh, shit. They made it into a horror. I can't remember. And then uh, I keep thinking it was uh, Snow White, A Tale of Terror. Oh, right? yeah, yeah. With, uh, with Sigourney, Sigourney Weaver. Weaver. Mm, yeah. Because that was like taking uh, Snow yeah, White turned Samuel, it into a horror yeah. movie. That was a long time mm-hmm. ago. Was it but, called A Tale of Terror? Yeah. Because yeah. mm-hmm. I remember her as that character. Yeah, that was, was, bad. Really that was in 1997. Yeah. I so I say? think they've been doing this for a while, but yeah. it's like, um, yeah, retconning old stuff. And like, mm-hmm. okay, now, but Pinocchio is a horror. I mean, it's already it happening always, there, yeah. but yeah, it always just feels like, like Pinocchio's what property, revenge. Right. Remember? What property do we have? Well, let's do <laughs> yeah. that. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's in the public domain? Mm-hmm. There yeah. was horror po- Pinocchio, wasn't yeah. there? Pinocchio, I forgot about Pinocchio's that. revenge. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Wasn't it? Is that what it's called? I think so. I don't know. I think my, one of them just might have been called Pinocchio. First you start it's with the fairy tales, movie. and then you go to mm-hmm. whatever else is in the public. Well, yeah, because if you look back, fairy tales are inherently creepy. Fairy no tale what. origins are really, really mm-hmm. messed yeah. up. <coughs> I did a whole paper on it in college. There you go. Yeah. Uh, Stephen Islander. That's it. Holly's our collegiate. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, Stephen Islander says, uh, Fantasy Island is a watchable movie. Average at best. Nothing I'd care to rewatch. And I definitely agree with taking non-horror plots and turning them into horror. Yeah. It's just not needed. Well, that was that. Oh. Well, that like went on a loop there. Yeah. I did. I, surprise. Yeah. Twist ending. Yeah. I'm, I'm all for it. I agree with Holly, but like. I mean, we'll get into our wrap ups. This movie just like went about it all wrong, which is a yeah. shame because like that puts the the stop on that for a while when you yeah. have a bad right. one, you know. It does. It's just like all right, we yeah. got yeah. horror yeah. Dukes yeah. of Hazard, the horror Brady Bunch. Uh, the I watched horror the horror Brady Supernatural. Brady Bunch. Like, <laughs> Supernatural's the horror Dukes of Hazard, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, basically, it absolutely. Yeah. Is. yeah. yeah. Uh, Michael Whitaker <laughs> says, "Oh man, if there was ever a concept I really wanted to work, it was horror fantasy island." But right? the reviews seem to drill down on this, and that's a real shame too. I hate it when a bad movie ruins a good idea. Because now there's probably very little chance they'll do this idea. Exactly. Again. There you go. Yes, Perfect. exactly. Uh, Novato Judoka said, This one hurt. May all the writers <laughs> of this movie be put on a list. May there was three of them. Be put on a list. Who are they? One of Jeff them was Wadlow was one. Wadlow. And then two other ones that okay. I did not write down. 
And uh, <laughs> Bishaw Foolery says this was the last TV show I expected to get an updated full feature attempt. It wasn't terrible, but they blew it with the weak uh, representation of tattoo in the film. But the giant infinity gem was a cool surprise. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, horror, so horror love boat is on the horizon. Yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, there yeah, that's boat, the next one. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure Blumhouse yeah. has the yeah yeah, yeah. Blumhouse's Blumhouse is boat. love boat. Yeah. <laughs> um, Hard to Kill was the movie that we watched sure last did. week. Yep. I'm Brian about that facial hair. <laughs> the, yes. What he was the man yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Brian Nielsen says listening to your description of Steven Seagal reminds me of one of the police officers in the Japanese Kung Fu Samurai zombie comedy versus in Ooh. case you haven't seen it said police officer is an expert tracker because he was raised in Yellowstone National Park in Canada was trained in criminal profiling at FBI headquarters in Langley calls himself the fighter because he's the master of all martial arts and is a top dog breeder Oh my oh god! My that's god. incredible. That's a lot. Well, I've seen it. That was a Ruye Kitamura. Oh. That was the one that I think put him on I'm the intrigued. map. That's that was versus the souls or the forest of resurrection. I saw Ooh, it as martial awesome. arts movie. That sounds amazing. It came out in <laughs> the J horror wave of the nineteen of the two thousands. Yeah. Uh, Richard Kratzer says, "Back in the day, Seagal was the king of the three world mo- three word movie title. Yeah. Yes. My personal favorite was Marked for Death. Mm. Keith David may have had something to do with that. Looking back, and the villain Screwface was a lot of fun. Among my friends, you were either a Van Dam or a Seagal fan. What can you say? We were all morons, but I was a Seagal <laughs> fan Indeed. up until I got to know what kind of human he was. Now my yes. favorite, Steven Seagal." Now my favorite Steven is Steven Seagull from The Shallows. From The Shallows, yeah. yes. yes. <laughs> Which I was going to say, I'm like, yeah. proof that Steven Seagull has continued on with yes. the pop culture is yes. Steven Seagull. That was a pretty good joke. It was, it was I liked it. That's a great I liked joke. It. Because you have to put it together. Yeah. Yeah. She just calls yeah. him Steven, yeah. Yeah. and then you're like, oh. Yeah. That's a great joke. Steven yeah. Seagull. Uh, but he says, I highly recommend it and marked for death for the freak show if it hasn't already been covered great nice. show as always uh Thank the you. week before we watched a movie called blair a uh, book of shadows blair, blair witch, witch 2 indeed um travis legler says i'm just saying as someone who's seen it at least six times carnosaur 2 was better more logical sequel than this one hell the last jurassic world was too i am not <laughs> gonna find out sir <laughs> I was betrayed by Carnosaur. <laughs> I will not. Per, I, okay, I will not be bringing it here. No, you already. I'm, I may. I may skim through it on YouTube. I just to see. <laughs> Travis I is recommending not. it. <laughs> you have to do it. Uh, oh, um, okay, do you want me to, Colin? <laughs> You really got to twist his arm. He already said he was going to skip through it on YouTube. <laughs> We're going to get a review from it in a couple hours. We might. Yep, we uh, yeah, and, like guys, it's like actually not that bad. <laughs> the CG is much better. Yep. And Chris Huddleston says, I, yes! oh, what up, he says, I lived a few miles from Burkittsville at the Ooh. height of the Blair Witch Bane. Oh, that's fun. fun. That must have been cool. That's fun. Where what you a just time had, to be I hope alive. You were a bunch yeah. of people like wandering through your yard. Right. I was like, it's either fun or he hated it. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was just like, ugh, not again. All right. Well, now, thank you very much, all of you, for writing, and we appreciate it. Now we're going to find out. Holly! <laughs> would you go to this fantasy island? I would not, Sean. I <laughs> <laughs> uh, didn't like it. Didn't like it. Um, as, as the horse guy on Ren and no, Stimmy sir, would say, I didn't like it. no, sir, I didn't like it. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Holly. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah. Fuck this movie. <laughs> I, I, I really, I really do like the idea of taking a non-horror property and turning it into horror. I think that could be so fun. And it could have, Michaela, I agree with you. They could have made this fun. They could have been a good it could have been a good time, and it wasn't. It's just a mess. It's a. It's just the clusterfuck. Not of a even movie. a hot mess. Just no. A mess. It's a mess. It's a clusterfuck of a movie. It's stupid. It makes no sense. There's no logic. There's no rules. Um, maybe a. Maybe I would have liked a story of how the island was found. Like. Some mythology on the island, maybe. Uh, like, watch like Kong watch a few seasons of Lost. I was going to say, you want Kong Skull Island. I'm just trying to think yeah. of like anything yeah. that would have made this a better story. Right. It's because just what this is is just s- stupid and a waste of time. And I don't like anything about it. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> You're so defeated by this movie. I am. Colin. <laughs> Oh wow! Uh, can I can I say anything that uh, would change your mind? Let's find out. Uh, when was the last time that Blumhouse made a good movie? I mean, they they started Ooh, off making point. these uh, like they would give Invisible uh, Man. 
Yeah, okay. oh, yeah probably. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But still, that was 2020, as we were talking yeah. about. There's been a lot of movies between now and then that they put out. <clears throat> yeah. Let me see. I'm trying to remember something with I, the, the logo. The spirit on it. of Blumhouse. Yeah, that, you watch these movies. Going as, as, it doesn't feel like it's changed. No. Because we started this way. I kind of no, feel. No, they started with, they were giving uh, horror film, filmmakers with a horror pedigree. Right. They gave them like Give a million, a million bucks, bucks. Make a and movie. And say, make a movie with no creative control. You can do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. And then they made a fortune. And now they finance, you know, relatively modest budget big budget movies shot in fiji this movie you know. was very profitable it, it, it really? cost it cost seven million to make it made that 49 million. Yeah, that's why but that it made 49 that's but but that is what it at, yeah. feels like yeah. it feels like i mean it is a vaporware movie i saw it mm-hmm. uh you know when it came out on video and like sitting there tonight I'm like, aside from the revenge plot, Lucy Hale storyline, I couldn't remember a goddamn thing about this movie. And usually something <laughs> Even happens. Even Colin can kinda, accidentally yeah, remember yeah, stuff. Yeah, you go like, oh, I remember this character did this. But the, the reason that I don't is because this, and I keep on bringing Solo up. I don't know why <laughs> Solo comes. But Solo. Yeah, you're going to give it a thrashing. It, it was lives. constructed the same way where there's a lot of plot. There's a lot of like, then we got to go do this. And then this yeah. happened. And then this happened. And then this happen and this and this and this it's supposed to try and excite some uh you know kind of there's well there's something happening all the time in the audience and like you can kind of keep up with it and some of it i mean who cares if it makes any sense you spend your money on it the opening week you know and i mean it makes a profit and then who cares it's gone then nobody will ever watch it again and i'm saying that you shouldn't watch it to begin with it sucks it was uh, a horrible movie with awful uh, you know, because when they got off the plane, like everybody's so fucking rude. It's just oh, like no. these are, and then you know, they're rude to Julia. I guess getting off, and I was like, I felt empathy for her character, trying to like yeah. welcome to the place, and they're all talking back to her and all that. Like, oh fuck, all these people. Um, it's a movie that tries to uh, 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 be a movie for everybody, except uh, uh, it's like okay, we're gonna be for the horror audience, but. They don't, I mean, they, it ends up being a movie for nobody. You know, yes. it's, it feels like it was made by the Netflix algorithm <laughs> that somebody went this and feels programmed like an AI in, movie. here's our yes. audience and here's, it does. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So it does. many <laughs> movies. And I think this is why we say like a lot of modern movies suck is because they all have, at least to me, they all feel like this one. Yeah. It feels like the same AI brain spat out all the plot lines and all the scripts of all these fucking movies. And this is one of them. And as we sat there tonight, I mean, it was it was rough. I mean, this was yeah, a was bad, bad, bad movie, and you shouldn't see it, and uh, it sucks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sean, what do you think? Uh, I was looking at Blumhouse movies. I, uh. liked, I liked Freaky. That was in 2020. Freaky yeah. was good. And I wasn't offended by Black Phone. I was going, yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, that was, uh, I, I did like um, But it was better. It's better than this. That yeah, was the Happy last Ryan Turk produced. I was going yeah. like, oh, if, Happy I Death hated great. if you see Ryan Seems Turk's like movie no. in name. Happy I, Death Day prior to this though yes yes yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Oh, but yeah. that's yeah. i think ryan turek uh was kind of like a hero of the horror fan community because he worked you either for die a hero or you live long enough to become the villain yeah. exactly what happened he worked for a uh was a creature corner yeah and then so. he i think he got his start like he got to be on the set of jeepers creepers 2 mm-hmm. or something mm-hmm. and then he eventually like made his way up into blumhouse yes mm-hmm. and then he hosted a podcast yep. and he then yeah. he was producing mm-hmm. and so it's like he's one of us he's a producer yeah. of these films seeing it from the audience's point of view but i think yeah it's like whatever like he's going like this is what the audience is is like uh, who's, he's, yeah. you're gre- are you green lining these things yeah. like yeah. The, yeah. the best movie that he has produced is happy death <laughs> yeah i would agree I think with so that. it's like shouldn't you know better right like, are you yeah. are you voicing your opinion when you right. see this he shit? was on a mm-hmm. criticism well, he, website for he would he, yes. he wrote reviews of movies <laughs> he did you know that he and he like openly like takes credit for this? It was his idea in Halloween 2018 to make them podcasters. Like he's yeah, proud of that. A, yeah, because he was a podcast. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. his. That's his contribution. Yes. I know. I'm. I'm disappointed. I guess by the guy's out, but it's like I, you're I actually there in a place where you could make movies, and he makes these. Uh, I mean, I, again, mm-hmm. his bosses love him because they make a fortune, right. but they are not uh, significant. Uh, contributions to the film or the yeah. genre or Correct. anything. So. Yeah, but you said it. They make a fortune. Yep. yep. There you yep. Go. That's line. really all that matters. Mm-hmm. Sean, does it suck? It sucks. 
It does. It does indeed <laughs> suck, Colin. Um, and I think that's really all you need to say about it. I think we said all we need to say about it in the conversation we've had for the past uh, hour and fifteen minutes. Um, yeah, it, <laughs> it's 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 so bad. It's so bad. The only enjoyment I got out of this was talking, like talking to you guys. The about catharsis. It. Of I would Yeah, the, it is. It's it's fun to have. Uh, which I think is like you, you know, something unique for our show, where we watch the movie and we're coming right off of it. Mm-hmm. So the process of and trying we to rage f- together, yeah. right? And yeah. so you can have those. It's it's having a it's like a mini version of having a shared experience, mm-hmm. which is really nice for stuff like this because then you can figure it out, and you're also looking to everybody around the table going. You guys felt this, right? Yeah, yeah. You guys also felt this way, mm-hmm. and the dynamics of that—you were so, curled up. I did. I in a fetal position at one point. First time I've ever seen yeah, Lucy Hale curled Hale up in a fetal because position. Because when Lucy Hale came out and started monologuing, oh, I was like, oh, "We've been awful. discussing." Yeah. I was just the like, cringe almost like, killed oh, me. Yeah. I got up and got a beer. No. Yeah. I was like, oh, I know done. exactly what they were doing. I'm just like, <laughs> no. I'm and that's that's what this movie is. It's a big yell of no. It felt like the wind was taken out of me. Yeah, because oh, yeah. really, you're like, oh, I'm tired. We're all gonna sleep good tonight because like we're exhausted. I'm so it really, tired. It really is. And again, well, as we all discussed, there's uh, potential for this idea is is I think big and great, and there's so much you could do with it. And they did some of the worst shit with it I have ever seen. Um, I mean, there there's miscasting. There's uh, my favorite characters turning into completely different characters at the end of the movie. Um, the intricacies of having to get everyone to this island for Lucy Hale to have this play out as just like uh, the the idea that the uh, island would grant your fantasies is more believable than everything Lucy Hale would have had to do to get them to the island. Right. Um, yeah, this is a, this is a, a horrible movie. It's a bad movie. And, and the more when we said it was, this feels like an AI generated movie. Mm-hmm. That's exactly what this mm-hmm. feels like. And, and there's nothing good about it. At least when you see the AI Bud Light commercial, there's some weird shit going on, mm-hmm. but this is just so bad characters. We don't care about writing's not good. It feels like they, it, it's cut. I, I was the editing is not good on this either because it's it, there's nothing. Guy uh, gets grabbed by sea snake hands. Five minutes later, away. he just comes out of the water. Like there's yep. there's uh, the pointlessness of things that happen in this movie is kind of incredulous. Like, uh, uh, do you think? Do people? Did anyone like this? It's got eight percent of Rotten Tomatoes mm-hmm. as much as we don't. I only like Rotten Tomatoes when it gives them the low score, but mm-hmm. I don't. I, I can't imagine anyone enjoying this movie i would Mm-mm. never recommend this to you to watch no Mm-mm. never Mm-mm. don't do it uh, uh skip it Mm-mm. leave run run away uh, go to a different island something i don't know <laughs> do not watch this movie unless you were immediately going to talk about it with people just be like how do you see how bad that was if you want to rage watch it you can yeah. rage watch yeah. it and which is i mean maybe so but it's even a long hate watch it is, it is it is an it's hour and tedious. 50 minutes and that is a long hate it watch i wouldn't even recommend it for movie. hate watching so it yeah, yeah. no Ugh. no i hate I hate so much. Mm-hmm. Um, pass, Michaela. Yeah, you know, this is a tough one. It's it, <laughs> ugh, it was rough to watch, but I. Michaela, they, if you recommend this, it's no, no, no. <laughs> they re- <laughs> Sean took this movie so personally. My God, no, they really overcomplicated this movie. They really fucking dropped the ball because if they would have played this right. All they had to do was make it Final Destination, but it, on this fantasy island, right? Just get these disposable characters to this location and use their fantasies to kill them in a creative way. That's literally all you need to fucking and do. You can, and and somebody you figures can, out why and they survive. But you don't even right. have and to do can, that. And you, you can even learn have to do that. lessons yeah. within yeah. those you can, deaths. You can have of, the unhappy ending where the island eats all the people. <laughs> and the, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Or you can keep one person alive or not even. Actually, you could make a franchise out of this and bring new characters every movie, just like Final Destination, mm-hmm. and just grind them up, you know? Yeah. Like, it's right there. What? It's right. Th- I can't believe like that they the skipped right over that. It's a fantasy. Yeah, yeah. anything can happen. Exactly. Yeah. That's the whole point. You keep bringing new people because you keep feeding yes, the island. Yes, and yeah. they do have a TV show. So yeah. they, 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 yeah. I, does I Blumhouse think, produce I think that's a TV like show? A See, event. that's what I, I was know. wondering. Oh, Are yeah. they involved does, with the TV show? I wonder show? if they have the rights. I will say, I did like how like sexy this movie tried to be i don't know if it was successful but it, it, it tried there was a lot of like n- almost nudity and stuff and it just yeah. we so rarely and see anything like this shoot anymore maggie q maggie yeah. q is she's like good. lovely she I, the only reason she would like this movie is she's like i look good in this movie. yeah, yeah. She, does. she does yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, i just i can't believe that they like it's such a simple way to make this a win and then you could have had a right? whole franchise off of mm-hmm. this and i can't believe they didn't do that and yeah the more uh, you know Ryan Turk stuff you watch, the more the the like things seem to show up, and it gets very annoying and repetitive. But I but I still don't think this is the worst Blumhouse remake. 
I think what would that be? Black, Black Christmas. Christmas. Black Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Firestarter, I think, is worse. I, I haven't seen that one. But, but Black yeah. Christmas. But we discussed yeah, it plenty. But, yeah, but we discussed it. Um, <laughs> so I would put this above those two, you know? Um, but that doesn't mean you should watch it. No, it's still mm -hmm. terrible. Oh. But mm -hmm. it's just when you look at, like, Blumhouse's track record over the past three years, it's real shocking that they're still making money sometimes, mm -hmm. you know? Because, like, for every Halloween, there's eight movies like this. Like this in Truth or Dare, you know? Like, yeah. yeah. So. But Invisible Man was, and yeah. they, uh, they oh, are Insidious, right? Is that Yeah, that was, yeah they are. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's got the last key or last door. Red or door. The, the fuck, red door. Whatever. Yeah. whatever the last it's red called. key. The last, the last red, red key, key to the door. Yeah. Yeah. On the last. Kids going to college. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> insidious in college. Insidious in college. Did we just turn this into a giallo? I think so. Not bad. If you just combine all the names of the Insidious movie, it's the best giallo ever. Yes, I like it. Done. Love it. No, don't watch this movie. It's It sucks. And like, there's a reason why it escapes your mind immediately because it's 10 pounds of shit in a five pound bag and none Ooh. of it works. So Michael Pena literally tells us what's going to happen. After yeah. You watch this movie. Yeah. You're going to, you're going to remember, you're not going to remember it. Yeah. 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 That's just, true. You're going to remember the feeling. <laughs> that's true. He literally does. That's how the movie ends. Yeah. So he tells you. Yep. Oh. He yeah. does appear throughout the movie also. We don't really cover him, but he's basically. He doesn't do anything. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. you can't, you His can't struggle is the not, rules. Here are the yeah. rules. Blah blah blah. Oh, He's always yeah. setting someone off as a character approaches him. Yeah. It's like, no, go away. Yep. Uh, okay, so avoid. You're contractually obligated to avoid uh, mm -hmm. fantasy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You can't watch it. Uh, yeah. yeah <laughs> awesome. It. I love this. <laughs> That's the magic of this island. Yeah. Yeah. Do it for your health. Yeah. Uh, next week we're gonna watch a movie that was chosen by Colin. I'm very curious. What are we going to be watching Another next Jalo? week? No, we're not going to watch a Jalo. We're going to watch... Uh, I got to do this before somebody else does. So we're going to watch one of my favorite movies of all time, and it is called Manhunter. Yeah! All right! <laughs> we will, all right, so we're going to have the discussion. <laughs> we're going to have the discussion. <laughs> we're going to have the yeah. fight. It's oh, the best adaptation yes. of Red Dragon it by is. Thomas Harris. Also, everyone's job is to watch Red Dragon before next week <laughs> as well. Okay. <laughs> All right. So uh, until then, that's next week. And uh, until then, the basement is going dark.